we've done a few adventure trips together in the past and we had uh, we're looking for a place that was adventurous but still beautiful and fun and interesting and um, we actually started searching the internet and put in best adventure trips in the world and Iceland came up on the top. Basically I was looking for a trip, a uh, hiking trip because I'm quite a keen hiker, just got back into it after a few years off. Um, I saw this trip for Iceland on the Discover the World website and it looked like it would be something that really appealed to me. The trail is, it has been travelled for over 30 years, it's been popular amongst Icelanders for, for over 30 years and it's one of the most popular routes to do here in Iceland, 52 kilometers uh, of mountain trails. So we started picking up people in, in Reykjavik uh, and group up in our facilities. We have a little briefing about the journey up ahead and then we head off out of Reykjavik where we stop on, on the most beautiful sites on the way, give some info about what we've seen on the way and then, then end up in Landmannalöer where we set up our first camp, get to know the gear we explain how to put up your tent and so on and assist you with the first camping. The first day of trekking we will get up quite early to go for about a 10 hour day approximately. Start nice and slowly to get things moving while we are, we are a little bit stiff in the beginning so we start usually very slowly so everybody kind of catches the rhythm. Our guide um, has been excellent. He's uh, really take into account a different range of, uh, of ability in the, in the group in terms of pacing. First day is quite scenic, really an exciting day to do, but also a bit of a challenge because it's a it's a long day. It's the longest day of the of the whole tour. The first day is just these magnificent colors and ups and downs. You can't take it all in because everywhere you look, it's a more beautiful vista. Day two is a fairly easy day, short day, like 14 kilometers first. River to cross is a bit of a challenge. Sometimes off the knees, sometimes it can be a little bit further up. It depends on how much water there is in the rivers and how much rain there has been days before. More flat and an easy landscape to travel through, but still a beautiful trail through uh, quite deserted areas. You're, you're kind of alone in the wilderness a little bit there. What's What I've really found um, amazing, to be quite honest, is the whole variety of scenery that you see on the track. So you go from hot springs and uh, these amazing multicolored mountains and ice sheets and things like that back to classic sort of mountains, mountain scenery where we are now. Um, but this is completely different from where we started. And that change and seeing that change and also seeing landscapes that I've never seen before was really, really exciting. I really enjoyed that. I think for me, the thing I didn't expect was the desert on the second day. I just had no expectation that there'd be a desert in Iceland. And then the third day you go from snow to a forest. On our last day we start early again, heading towards some quite uh, scenic canyon and also, also a very nice overview over Mirkdalsjökull, the glacier. Then head off towards the valley of Thorsmörk. People are really happy about their challenge. They've, they've beaten the route and, and everybody's really cheerful and happy that night. So you know that guys this is a rescue dog here. I know, I know. Uh, our experience in Iceland has been just uh, just wonderful. Um, I think most of us had no idea what to expect. I think we had a sense that there was mountains and maybe some snow, but beyond that it was it was really a blank canvas for us. And I think it's beyond any of our expectations. This is uh, one of my favorite tours. You get, I think, much closer to nature and also you get uh, much closer and more personal to the guide, the other people on the tour, and you really get to know people. That's that's one of the things that really excites me the most about this tour. Uh, meanwhile, as discovering Iceland, you're also exploring other people's uh, cultures. It's a trip I would highly recommend. Uh, the experience has been great. The people here have been fantastic. We felt very well taken care of, very safe, very open. Uh, just a really great experience. It's great to come here to a place that's very relaxed from a place that's not, and to just unwind and get a totally different experience. It's been great. Come to Iceland! Iceland, it's, it's, there's, so much, there's so much to see. I'm definitely going to come back. Um, the scenery is amazing. The people are very friendly. Um, and I think it's definitely worth the trip.